Hello everyone, I'm Ramon with Ramona Home and today I want to show you how to make these beautiful bouquets for my pass-through. These bouquets can also be used on an entryway table or a sofa table or anywhere where you need a little bit of drama. The reason why I have these bouquets right here is because I will not do a Christmas tree this year. So I want to show you that by not having a Christmas tree you can create a little bit of drama with uh, some greenery bouquets. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends. Subscribe to my channel and also my social media. When you subscribe to my channel, please hit that notification bell so you get all the uh, notifications for future videos. Let's get started. Alright guys, so the material we're going to use is some fallen branches from the yard, which is what's going to give her the hive. And then we're going to use uh, some variation of greenery picks that I had stashed up in my garage. I went digging through my boxes and I found a whole bunch of variation of picks. And this is a very simple uh, project. However, when it's all finished, it really does make an impact. And I want to show you what that looks like. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this guy over here just to measure the height. I wanted to spill over. And I want to mention also that I have already pre-foamed this container, but I wanted to uh, spill over all the way up then I'm going to give it a really uh, big squeeze right here. I, like I said, I want to create some drama on this uh, pass tree because I will not have a Christmas tree. So that is the bones of my bouquet. Then I have this fake twig that I love. It's made out of rubber and you can bend it. I'm also going to add that in the middle right here. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a squeeze. So that is the beginning of it. Then the next step is to add a variation of greeneries. And I always like to start with the taller ones first. And I have two of these cedar picks. So I'm going to go ahead and add those right here to the top. And I want one to spill this way and I want another one to spill the other way. This project would also be perfect for an entryway table or if you have a sofa table. It's not just for a pass-through, so if you make a bouquet like this, uh, just picture it in another place, but in my case, it'll be for my pass-through. So I'm going to go ahead and weave that in here so it looks like it's growing from the uh, branches. Then I have these picks of pine cones, and I'm just going to give it a little fluff right here. And I'm going to go ahead and insert in the middle right here. So the first thing you want to do is add your height, and you, you gradually... Uh, work downwards. Uh, the next thing I have is this really pretty um, pick that I have here that has some snow in it. I'm going to go ahead and add this guy right here. And what I'm going to do so the snow shows is I'm going to actually add it in an angle right here and I'm going to push as far down as I can. And the good thing about this is that they're wired so you really can poke it in first and then you can um, work with it. All right. So then the next thing I have is this really pretty long needle pine picks. Uh, this is one of my favorite things that I have. And I have so many of them because I've been collecting them through the years. Every year I just buy a few because I want to have hundreds of them because I love the way they look. So I'm going to go ahead and add this right here on the bottom. Now we're going to start working towards the bottom. Once again, the good thing is they're wired so you can really bend them down. I'm going to have one down there and then I'm going to mirror that right here and make them spill down so then the next thing I want to add is some of these cedar picks and I'm going to start covering the mechanics with these picks I make sure that one goes down and then I'm going to add one more remember the tallest part first and then you gradually move downward like that this is such a simple project you guys and it really does make an impact I cannot wait to show you what it looks like all finished uh, because if it looks like it looks if it looks like how I imagine that it's going to be real dramatic. Then I have some of this magnolia leaf. So this is a bigger leaf so I'm gonna go ahead and add to cover some of the mechanics as well but making sure that folks into the foam. Alright so I have a few more of these cedar picks. I'm gonna make sure that I start covering those mechanics like this. I have one more here and one more here so I'm going to make sure I add those and I wanted this bouquet to look like you uh, picked it up from the wilderness and like I said there's going to be two of the mirroring so let me put them onto the uh, pastor and I'll show you what they look like 
All right, guys, as you can see, I have two uh, matching bouquets flanking my pass through, but this one does have these feathers that I found at the store where I work. And I want to go ahead and add them to this bouquet too so they mirror each other. And because this one is going that way, I'm going to give this a little bend right here to make sure it comes this way. And they will mimic each other perfectly. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like all finished. I hope you guys like it. It really was a simple project. And like I mentioned, I'm not gonna have a Christmas tree in this small party, but I wanted a little bit of drama in this place. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Ramon at Home for future decorating ideas. And when you do hit that notification bell so you are informed every time I upload a video, follow me on my social media and those links are down below. I hope you guys like it and I hope to see you again. Bye.